Oh, um, what's up, everybody? Um, Bobby here, um, Nintendo Guru. Um, and yeah, the this yeah, this is gonna be my impressions of uh of the Switch. So what is up, everybody? Um, <laughs> goofiness, I know. Uh, the Switch, what do I think about it? I've had it for two weeks now, give or take. Almost three weeks now, it's three weeks now, something like that. Um, and I, what are my impressions? I don't think it's a very big shock to people that I do love this thing. Um, the UI is seamless with this. It's really quick. You're in and out of things very rapidly. Um, you're literally you're literally clicking a home button, putting this thing to sleep, and then clicking a home button and pressing A, and you're right back into Zelda in the blink of an eye. Like that blows my mind that you can actually go in and out with a handheld on the handheld mode so quickly, so rapidly, even with the console mode. Same thing. But that's what I love. I love the fact that like I could take this thing, I could dock it at the house, pull out my Pro Controller. Which if you don't have a Pro Controller, go get one. They are a godsend, man. They are amazing controllers. Um, I haven't played with the puppy dog controller, I guess we'll call it, the, the Joy-Con grips. I haven't played that way yet. I played detached and all that, but that said, like, I, I love the fact that I can get the home console experience on my 4K TV, drop it in, play hours on end, legitimately, hours on end, and then I'm gonna go to work or whatever, and I just grab this baby and I just take it with me. You know, I, I put it in my uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild Collector's Edition, the case that it came, the Sheikah Slate case. I take that with me to work and, and I pop it in and then at lunch I come back out and the nice thing is I don't, I'm not really truly a fan of the Vita style, we're going to call it handheld, but we're going to call it Vita style. Like, you know, I'm not really truly a fan of that way of playing. I thought I would be. I thought I would really not, I would like that more than detaching the Joy-Cons. But when I'm at work, I'll, I'll throw it in tabletop mode. So I'll put the, I'll put the, um, the switch up on this kickstand, pull off the two Joy Cons, and start playing and, go, and going at it. Like, I love it. I really do. Um, the only issues I have with it is I do miss the D pad. I understand why they didn't do it. I get it. I got you. Um, but I, I hate playing Shovel Knight portably like that. I hate it. Because um, I'm not a fan of the analog stick with Shovel Knight. I prefer the D pad. So when I'm playing at home, I use the Pro Controller for Shovel Knight because I got to play that way. I, I can't play any other way. Um, I guess because it's the feel and the vibe, it's a, it's a, it gives the feel of an 8-bit game, you know, even though it would have never ran on a Nintendo console back in the day. But it, that vibe, that feel of a D-pad just feels like home, per se. I haven't played a lot else other than Zelda, and I think that's something I wanted to touch on a little bit. Because people, when Nintendo first announced the Switch and the, and the launch lineup, people jumped all over Nintendo. Basically saying, like, you're crazy, you have no games coming out. I think they did the right thing because I don't have time to play anything else. Um, I have, I am Setsuna, I have uh, Fast RMX, Shovel Knight, uh, Bomberman, and I just got Binding of Isaacs, um, Binding of Isaac Aftermath. I just got that yesterday and I haven't touched really any of them. Like I played a little bit of the other ones. I haven't played Bomberman at all and I haven't played Binding of Isaac yet because I just haven't had time to yet. I'm so entranced with Zelda. I'm over 70 hours at this point, um, just banging hours away. Like it's nobody's business. Like I just can't get enough of that game. Um, but that, is, that aside, that's, that's irrelevant. Um, I know when this console came out, it got a lot of knocks for some things, for not being as powerful as a PS4, not being as powerful as an Xbox One. It is more powerful than a Wii U. And I was very satisfied with my Wii U in terms of graphics and all that stuff like the games were phenomenal I felt I always enjoyed my time with my with my Wii U so this is this is gonna look better than a Wii U in theory um, slightly better whatever it might be I, I love this I just I really do man I, I love the branding I love the style I love the you know the, the branding um, I love the, the style of it I love, like, there's so many ways to play this thing um, I love the fact that I'm not carrying my 3DS all the time and like playing one set of games on my 3DS and then I would come home and play my Wii U and play a totally different style game there. I'm playing the same game all the time. Um, that's 
what this is all about. And, and that's what I think I love about this the most is Nintendo promised something to people a year ago. You know, when, when the rumors were coming out, and I wouldn't even say Nintendo promised it a year ago, but they basically promised it last year, the end of last year, when we got that little trailer, that sizzle reel, which showed what this was before, when we first got the name. It was called the NX back then. And they promised the fact of like, you'd be able to play these big epic AAA games on the go and at home and all that, and they're delivering 110%. Like, that is what this is all about. That is the great thing about this thing, is that like, I can do it all. I can, I can take it on the go, I can play at home and, and just, and love it. And it's, doesn't feel cheap. Like the gamepad feels like a Fisher Price toy. This feels like something like Apple or Samsung or something would give you and, and, and sell to you in a store. Like, there's just so much greatness about this. It has its flaws. It's not the perfect console by any stretch of the imagination, but I feel like for what it's able to do, it is perfect. You know, it, it the fact that you can play a home console, enjoy your time with it, and then get it up and take it out and, and get that same experience, like that's a home run to me every single day, every single moment. I'm loving it. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about your Switch. Are you happy with it? Are you one of those people that didn't want to get one and you did and now you're like, thank God I did get one because I'm in love. And, and that's the thing, like I never in my wildest dreams thought that I would love this as much as I do. It's crazy. So follow me, Instagram, Twitter, at Nintendo Gurus. If you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button, slap that bell so you know what's going on around here. Like, share, all that good stuff. That is all. See me later.